The impact of Jessie Duarte's passing has also been felt by young women who saw in her a lodestar for women's rights. Fasia Hassan is a member of the provincial legislature in Gauteng and a former student activist and feels her passing quite personally. She joins me now. Fasia, good evening to you and welcome. Um, you know, and I just want to be real and human with you in the moment. I can see that you've, you've obviously just come back from the funeral and this is, has been a personal day from, for you. Definitely, Iman. I think it's uh, in as much as anyone can be sick, you can think you're prepared, you can think that you're going to be ready. Um, and even when it happens, there's nothing that can really prepare you uh, for the loss of, of a mentor, um, of somebody who has fought for our freedom, someone who's fought for us as women, black women in particular. Um, and you always want to be the best that you can be as a young woman or a young activist. Um, and I, I found myself thinking so much of that today um, as we lay... Uh, Mom, Yasmin, Jesse, uh, Duarte, Trest. You know, when we talk about people of the caliber of Jesse Duarte, of course, depending on who you ask, everyone has their own recollection and, and their own idea yeah. of who she is. Uh, but for you as, as a woman, as a women's rights activist, and also hearing the tributes that were paid to her today, this long political career that she has had, particularly in the arena of fighting for women's rights, how much of an inspiration has she been in the way that you've shaped your own career? Huge, huge amount, huge amount. Um, if I look back to my own time as a student activist, um, the country will be familiar with Fees Must Fall. Um, and that was amongst the first times that we started to interact with the likes um, of Mum Jesse. But particularly around a time in which you found a very strong woman, but a woman who was also very straightforward, who saw the bigger picture, um, who understood the importance of nurturing young people and young women, and most importantly, a, a woman who was never intimidated or threatened by other women in the space. Um, and I think that spoke volumes to her character as a leader, but more importantly, the fact that she has a legacy. Um, in as much as we've lost her today, there are so many young women like myself um, who are the legacy of that generation of leaders. And I, I want to pick up on that point, because the president today said that she confronted, in part of his eulogy, the patriarchal... Yeah. Um, you know, attitudes and practices that sought to diminish the role of women in parliament, government and society. How would you characterize her particular brand of feminism? Fire, firebrand, <laughs> firebrand. Um, she was the kind of person, like I said, very straightforward, very to the point, no nonsense, didn't mince her words. Um, but as a result of that, you learned a, a level of strength um, and you learned how to confront those issues without ever feeling um, like you were a crazy person, if that's, if that's the right sort of terminology. Um, and she was also someone who fought for non-racialism. She was someone who, till the very end, um, fought for everyone around her. So an incredibly selfless woman who consistently, consistently fought for others. I mean, I, you know, I felt your, your own humanity and emotion in that tweet you sent out uh, upon receiving her news. Yeah. Um, you said it was somebody, in essence, that you leaned into for support and guidance. You said she had the uncanny ability to show me the bigger picture. She pulled me back from the brink and I would not have been here without her. Would you mind sharing that experience with our viewers? Definitely. Um, we all know that Fees Must Fall was a very traumatic experience for us. Um, and I think it was also an experience that made us really question not just who we are as people, but question the country, the democracy we have, why we had to fight that battle in the first place. Um, and I think without Mum Jesse's intervention and many of those veterans of the time, I don't think I would have remained as an activist. I, don't, I most certainly wouldn't have become the youngest member of the Gauteng Provincial Legislature. But I also would never have been in a space in which we could open up the space for other young women. Um, and that's been the important part for me to learn from this experience. You know, what's interesting is, you know, oftentimes you'd ask, and, and the only story that comes to mind is a story of the, the run in honor of Madiba just yesterday by, by, by little kids. They were joining the adults, but somebody asked one of the girls, you know, who is Madiba? And she's like, I don't know, you know I'm just <laughs> running. And it was really yeah. adorable because she was there and yeah. her heart was in the right place. But often this connection to that cohort and that generation of freedom fighters or, or people, you know, who become iconic in the, in the liberation movement in South Africa, you know, whatever the, whatever the however hist history will tell their sure. story, the point is, you know, they're in that cohort. What do you reckon is the opportunity in this time, following her demise and others mm. of her, you know, of, of her, um, you know, struggle caliber, mm. to connect that institution, you know, to, to kind of create a continuum in the institutional mm. memory between younger women? First thing that comes to mind, the erasure of women in our uh, uh, struggle history. Um, but many people may not know this, but uh, Mum Jessie was in the process of putting together a book 
yeah. of women's um, organizing and women's liberation processes in the 1980s and 90s. Um, and for me, that's a project that would have to have to be finished and seen through. Um, but also the value of what we can gather from that, this, the, the, the ideas of lessons. Um, I had a conversation with another woman leader today, and we spoke about how we need to continuously build on each other's achievements. Um, and how when we do that, it's something that we really need to look beyond just ourselves, look beyond Fasiya, look beyond Iman, look beyond Mam Jesse and create and, and really create a structural change for women in this country. Yeah, I mean, you, you talk about that book, and, and it's interesting. A lot of people wouldn't have known some of the projects and things that she was engaged in in creating that opportunity for archiving um, the struggles and some of the lessons for the younger generation, people, you know, young women like yourself included. But I want to come to something, you know, as we end, we, we, we speak very high level. Uh, and, and, of course, we must because a lot of people didn't know her personally. Mm. But if you were to share, you know, anything personal but more tender uh, or from, you know, from the inside track, what would you share as, you know, an enduring, endearing memory of uh, Jessie Duarte? She was actually very loving. Um, I think that the space of politics that we're in makes people think that we're very hard people that were very rash sometimes, um, but that wasn't who she was. Uh, in as much as she was very straightforward and no nonsense, she always had the ability to make people feel comfortable, uh, make people feel valued, make people feel important. Um, and that was across the board, not just for leaders in a political space, but even the random person on the side of the road. And when I saw that, when I saw how she spoke with waiters, with the working class, with different people, um, it showed me the kind of person that she, she was. Um, and that was a selfless, humble, hardworking person. I see two stories of mentoring that sort of jump out at me. And we know that mentoring is such an important and critical opportunity to be able to imbue those who lack experience and awareness and even a network to be able to tap into those opportunities. With um, uh, Jesse, you know, we saw it in that interview a little bit earlier, referred to affectionately as, uh, you know, Marcy Sulu, one of Marcy Sulu's girls. She was mentored very carefully yes. into that role as secretary of the Federation of Transvaal Women, which was an important organization back in those days mm -hmm. uh, as an activating agency for women. We see it between yourself and um, uh, Jessie, you know, when you talk about having looked into her life and her experience as, as a lodestar in essence. What, what, what is the responsibility now for women like yourself and others who do have the platform, who do have a little more experience in their political careers to mentor other women? That's exactly it. I, I, I don't view it as an, an obligation. I view it as a duty um, and not, not a burden either. Um, it's come from a space in which Mum Jessie and the likes created a much safer landing zone. Um, and now that she's gone, I, I'm afraid. I'm afraid for what that future looks like for a young woman in this space. Um, but I also have that duty to create that safe space for another person and many other women. Um, and I'm hoping to also make it a little bit more, maybe not formalized, but make it a little bit more accessible. So it's not just who you know. Um, if there's any young woman out there who wants to get involved in politics or just wants an ear, um, I think what I've learned from her is to always be available and to always have that have that room just to vent, because often that would be the case, just mm. going there saying, DSG, this thing happened, I'm so angry, I'm so irritated, crying, thinking, you know, you often feel so alone as a woman in, 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 in very patriarchal spaces, yeah. and you feel like you're the only woman to have to go through that. And then you meet with them and you talk with them and you think, but how, how could I even think I was the only person? Yeah. Um, and drawing on those, those, those experiences that they had and how they dealt with it, for me, has been invaluable. Solidarity certainly is a, a you know, welcome bomb. Fasia, thank you for talking to us. Thank I know it's been a tough day for you, certainly a tough day for everyone who loved um, Jesse Duarte. So thank you for coming in and sharing your recollections with us.